I'm a very different man today because of combat. It is kind of the fine print when you sign on the dotted line, like, hey, I want to make sure you understand you are joining a profession of arms whose responsibility is to fight America's wars. You very well may get shot at. And this may cost you your life. Are you willing to make that kind of sacrifice? In 1993, I was a staff sergeant serving in the Army's 3rd Ranger Battalion. My company was sent over to Mogadishu, Somalia as part of Task Force Ranger. That's the special operations forces that were sent over to Somalia. Because of my story being so well known, because there's an actor who plays me in the movie Black Hawk Down, the number one most often asked question that I got is, wait a second, are you the guy from Black Hawk Down who is now an army chaplain? What happened? I led a column of Humvees through the city streets on October 3rd in Black Hawk Down. Stuker, you lead Humvee. Oh! Our goal was to get the bad guys, put everybody who flew in by helicopters on our Humvees and drive them back to our base and get out of there in less than 30 minutes. I drove in and out of the city streets three times that day. One of the guys who was sitting right behind me was killed instantly. So I've been in firefights by the time I went to Somalia, but I never experienced gunfire like this. It was pervasive. It was point blank range most of the time. It was coming from a hundred directions at the same time. After taking the critically wounded ranger who fell from the Black Hawk helicopter back, I thought we were wrapping up. I thought that we would pull out of the city, that the operation would be done in a few more minutes. And I learned from my boss that helicopters are getting shot down. Jeff, I need you to get your men back on your Humvees and go to the second crash site. It looks like this thing is gonna be a long, bloody battle. I came to this moment where I realized if I go back out in these city streets, it is certain, 100% certain, that I'm gonna die and that every one of my men are gonna die. I'm praying at the back of a bloody Humvee. I don't wanna go back out there. I don't wanna die. I, you know, I have a wife at home. We've been married for a couple of years. We've got a baby that's on the way. I don't wanna leave her. I don't wanna leave my child without a father. And at this moment, um, I start to remember what my faith really means. I can go home to my family in Georgia, or I can go home to my Father in heaven. I have nothing to fear. From that moment forward, I was both 100% convinced that I was going to die and had no fear which is what made it possible for me to drive back out in the city streets again and again, getting shot at and losing men all night long and stay there until nine o'clock the next morning, literally the last vehicle out of the Target building. By some miracle, I walked away from this battle without a scratch on me when almost everybody around me was wounded or killed. Up to this point, I had prepared a lot of rangers to meet the enemies of our country. And what I felt, it's time for you to stop preparing warriors to meet the enemy and start preparing them to meet eternity. And that significantly influenced the kind of military chaplain that I became. And I've had the privilege in almost 14 combat deployments to Afghanistan and Iraq of looking guys in the eyes and saying, I know exactly what you're going through. 